Hey guys, it's uh, John VE3 IPS. Uh, another look at here at the GNC radio antenna stuff. So um, we've reviewed this many times. A favorite antenna is the MC750. This is a multi-band HF vertical antenna. All complete everything in this kit for vertical operation. Now I've started operating from the parks and portable using a B switches between a dipole and a vertical experimentation as far as different radio signals, propagation conditions, and, and just exper pure just pure experimentation. And uh, so that led me to the JNC Radio 599, the MC 599. This HF is a dipole antenna, and it uses an upward V scenario for the bands from 20 meters to 6 meters. And for 40 meters, there is a, a separate kit uh, that is a 40 meter dipole that I put into, uh, into a pouch here. And everything comes into their pouches. Uh, very high quality products, very, very happy with it. So let's uh, take a look at what we got to do. Comes with a tripod. This is a thick, heavy, robust tripod. Very, very impressed with it. I think I'm going to get one of these to put a VHF, UHF antenna on it for Aries. Uh, it's that well built. I'm very impressed. It's a uh, quality I think is better than Manfrotto uh, from the lighting company. Um, so anyways, thick, heavy, robust. I did make a mod here. I did add a guy ring I got from DX Engineering here because this thing should be guyed. I'm not going to guy it today, but I do have two sandbags uh, that I got from uh, Helinox. So I'll make sure this thing doesn't uh, tip over. So pretty straightforward here. It's a dipole. There's a center element component. Uh, so there's the connector for it. That pops into there and we tighten that up. There are two telescopic whips. So these are for the bands for 20 to six meters so they're about 16 seven feet 17 feet long quarter wave 20 meters uh, it also comes with uh, some really really uh, good anchors uh, tent stakes so this is to guy it down doesn't come with the paracord though, so uh, I, I ended up getting some paracord at the uh, at the outdoor store. Actually, the dollar store, two bucks for uh, 50 feet of uh, cord, and um, it's got glow in the, the dark, and it's orange. So I think this will work out perfectly. But I'm not going to guy it. So I, I just put a little bag in here, so keep everything in there all nice and neat. So we need my coax. I added my own choke ball into it with a bunch of ferrites there. So that pretty well just plugs into the side. Oh, the other antenna that I got from uh, from Chelligans, JNC Radio, is the M104. This is a vest pocket. I've done some videos on this. It's a small little uh, four-foot kind of whip coil design uh, for a mobile antenna actually works really really good I got it working really good with a tripod as well too okay so the beauty of these guys is they go well we want to do a quick deployment we don't want to be here with measuring tapes so what we'll do is we'll engrave on the actual element itself the band markings so if I want to go to 14 megs I'm gonna pull it out until I get to the 14 megahertz mark so let's let's do that Like any telescopic whip, you gently extend them out, pulling from the top. And then when you put it back in, you pull it in from the bottom. So here's the 28 megahertz mark. We're gonna keep going. 24 megs. 21, 15 meter band. Keep going. Make sure there's no power lines in the way. 18 megs, 17 meters. Keep going, John. Keep going. 
Keep going. Keep going. 14 megs. Okay, so we got that side done. Let's do this side. This is my first deployment. I haven't looked at the instruction manual yet. What a great day to be at the park today. I promise the fans aren't in good condition. And there's the 14 megs marks. There we go. Make sure everything's stable. So now I can push the mast up. Get up higher again, making sure that there's no power lines in the way. So this is 16 feet. It's got a cushion method to it when you then lower it. So I'm just going to deploy it here at, uh, let's put it at 14 feet. It's my, my first time, so let's uh, do a shakedown, see if we have to go back, read the manual or anything like that. Okay, I'll get my SWR bridge. And we got it set on the 14 megahertz band. So I turn it right on. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. SWR 1.2, I'm at 14200. Let's go up to 400. SWR is 1.5. 14.0, it's 1.4. So hit the sweet spot, just using the markings on it. Pretty simple. Uh, you can give this to a teenager and tell them to do what I, I just showed you and they'll be able to do it and you'll be on the air without any additional help. So there we go, what a, what a great story here on this antenna here. And as far as the ability of it not tipping over, I think that's, that's really, really good. Plus you have the ability of uh, directing that. So uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna drop it again. So when you drop it, there's uh, some tension to it, pneumatic tension, which is kind of nice. Doesn't slam down, actually catch your hand and get hurt. Ask me how I know. Okay, so now, what we'll do is get the overall view here, a wider view. That way we can see all of it. And I could even turn it around, right? So again, it has that pattern and you rotate the dipole with the broad side having maximum signal strength as it has that figure eight radiation pattern. So there you go, the uh, JNC radio, Chaligans, uh brand, MC599 antenna. It's a five band antenna, 20 to six meters covered off by the telescopic upward v profile and they are as an inverted v and i'll, I'll show you that in uh what, hey, why don't we set that up
These are threaded M10, M10 thread. They are not standard CB mount threads. 